we just launched into an American style table using National Mahjong League rules at Mahjong time. If you don't play there yet, there's a link below the video so that you can come and play. It's a lot of fun. It's my favorite place to play. I think it's the best. Give it a try yourself. Let's see what we can focus on for strategy with this set of tiles. I'm thinking three, six, nine. We have threes, sixes, and nines. I don't know yet if we're gonna be able to use them all though. They do happen to be in each suit. So there is a mixed suit Kong hand. This would be the fourth hand down under that category. Let's see if we can build those multiples. There's one of each suit we could pass. We did pick up a multiple with the one dot. That could be joker bait. We got another three. Let's hold it. If it's in the category, keep it. You know, let's, let's go ahead and break up the one. If we get keepers, I do not want to be stuck with passing a pair. Definitely need to keep that in mind as your discards are whittled down during the Charleston. So we need to build up these multiples here. Oh, wins. We definitely want to keep going. We need to get rid of these wins one at a time. That'll do. So breaking up that one dot was good. Otherwise we would have been stuck with a pair and all wins. So that's a good example of why and when to break up a pair during the Charleston. We still don't have to pick a hand, not till we run out of discards. No keeper there. I think we could pass these three just fine, just in case we get that one back. Pass east and west with odds, north and south with evens if you can because this year they go together. You don't want to feed into somebody's wind hand. We got the one in the south back. And break it up. I think we have one more pass. That's why I kept the south. We could maybe hold on to that for joker bait. We got a nine <clears throat> and a six. So three, six, nine, and we still have tiles we can pass. We can go ahead and break up the south. And this is actually a pretty good pass. We got some consecutive run there, which is not ideal, but at least it's in two different suits. And we have uh, three, six, nine, solid category here. Lots of flexibility with these tiles. Let's get rid of the dragon and the winds first. We might even be able to play a pair hand, the three, six, nine pair hand. Five Let's see what happens. If we get nine cracks, I think probably maybe, Four maybe that pair hand. One bamboo. But we do not have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. Stay flexible, stay fluid, stay at the category Seven level. Dots. That is the best way to play. Try not to commit to a hand until you know what hand you're playing. Don't take an exposure West wind. or don't claim a discard to make an exposure just because you can. Four dots. Stay flexible. Oh, let's get Five rid of that dots. green dragon. If you're not using dragons, get rid of them early. That is my advice to you. East wind. They're a hot commodity. 
five somebody dice. already discarded a red dragon was that me one uh, i don't remember one two three four, four okay we got a three Green dragon. we can get some filler tiles in here Six with dice. either the bands or the cracks we could go for that pair hand but we've got gaps we could maybe play the three six nine Two hand the third one down with kongs i think that probably is a good fallback plan West if the pair wind. hand doesn't come in nine characters okay there's the first nine crack out five Four bamboos. Green dragon. One dot. North wind. Four the four bam was down. That's why I discarded that one. We'll get rid of the white dragon next. Seven characters. Three characters. We're not taking it. Don't be tempted. One character. There's a nine dot. Okay, so we have our 369 here. 369, we need to fill in gaps. Four dots. We're in between 369 pair hand or 369 the third hand down. One dot. There is a nine crack out. No three bam, no six bam. We'll see. Four characters. Nine dot. Let's go ahead and give up on one of the suits nine because we could always play 369 Kongs Seven and characters. this way we can keep the threes and maybe fill in the cracks for the pair hand. South wind. There's one three crack out. We already Six have our three characters. cracks so we're good there. We just need the nine crack. Five There's five one nine characters. crack out right now. Five now, if we get a six crack, we could play three six six nine and use the three dots as joker bait. So there's a lot of flexibility here. Red dragon. Okay, now that we have pungs, Nine I think bamboo. we probably can commit to the Kong hand, the consecutive or not consecutive, the uh, one suit Kong hand three six nine, and use the three crack as joker bait. Three bamboos. Let's get rid of the six crack next. Six dots. Oh, we weren't ready for it. That's too bad. We're going to need a joker for that. Two jokers, actually, because... Three characters. Yeah, there's two six dots are out now. We could still play the three six nine pair hand. Five. Let's see what happens. I think I'll get rid of the three crack net or three bam next. Four bamboos. Two characters. Six bamboos. Pung. Okay. So there's two six bams three out. Dragon. Oh, there's the nine dot. All right, we have a Kong now. Three bamboos. And there are no three dots out. We just need two jokers for the six dot. I think we should go ahead and commit to the Kong hand. We'll see what happens here. Maybe that six bam will come in. Nine characters. That's the second nine crack nine out. Characters. There we go. So that hand went dead. The pair hand went dead Six for this characters. particular set of tiles. Three dots. There's a Kong. Kong. And we really just need a flower and Eight a couple dots. jokers, which is kind of a long shot. 
at this point. Red Dragon. If we can get a 6 bam, that would be nice, because there is a 6 bam out there as a joker. Three bamboos. Six bamboos. There used to be a joker out there. Eight dots. Seven dots. Maybe someone needs needs three Four cracks. Bamboos. There are two three cracks out. Not likely. At least they're safe One tiles. Wind. North wind. I think I'll probably start getting rid of the three cracks and try to hold. I really don't want to hold fresh tiles actually because we're heading into the end game Nine now. Bamboos. We're actually into the fourth wall, so having safe tiles is a good Six thing at this bamboos. point. I think we'll just hang tight and see if we can get some jokers. Chrysanthemum. That was a fresh tile right Two there. Two bamboos. Two bam. Whew. Fresh tile. The 8 BAM and Last 8 crack are fresh tiles as well. Those are the only two fresh tiles two left. And there goes the 2 BAM. Orchid. There's a joker. We need that to Three be a 6 characters. dot. I'm going to define it. We need one more joker. One dot. One more joker to fill in. Three bamboos. Oh, a flower would be nice too at this point. Seven dots. Three characters. The five dot is a safe tile, which is nice. Eight dots. So all the fives are out right now. Green dragon. We need another joker and a flower. Seven dots. There are two six cracks out, so this is a little bit risky. I'm going to play to win at this point, though. We have one discard and one, two, four three, four, five characters. more picks. So this hand is viable. We just need a joker. Seven bamboos. Let's get rid of the six now. Get six rid of the, the riskier tiles in the end game here. That was close. Uh-oh. Now, uh, there are three two bams out. We don't know what they're playing over here to the left since they eight only have characters. one exposure. We can't call them dead. If they're playing the two, four, six, eight pair hand, the twos are out. But they could be playing three, six, nine. They could be playing consecutive. North wind. Let's get rid of the four. This eight bam four is a fresh tile. None are out. Now... We do not, we don't have a clue what these other two players are playing here. We have three more, oh, there we go. Okay, they were playing consecutive run. Okay, year hand, there it is. Okay, well, let me know what you thought about that game. We got one away, which was pretty good, I think. And um, I like one suit hands. They're kind of a pretty hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos or go live. And you can maybe uh, pick up an insight of the game or learn a new strategy that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory with American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules at Mahjong time, may all your picks be keepers.